Hello everyone, welcome back to Team Auto Trend. This is Viprajesh from Coimbatore today and I am here with the brand new Tata Nexon's XZ Plus P variant. Tata Motors have recently launched the new P variant of the Tata Nexon which is literally the flagship version of the Tata Nexon with all the features you need and segment besting features as well. So today I am going to take this XZ A Plus P variant, the petrol AMT version for a drive in Coimbatore roads and on free roads as well. So let's go on for a detailed test drive. Before going for the drive, make sure to subscribe to our channel for such detailed videos on all variants of all cars and don't forget to like and share this video. Let's now go on for the drive. This Tata Nexon has been provided by Tafe Access Limited Tata Car Showroom in Coimbatore. The facelifted Tata Nexon was launched in the year 2020 and since then it has received few more updates along with new features as well. The new Tata Nexon definitely looks more muscular and the front fascia reminds us of some Land Rover cars. It has to be mentioned that all variants of the Tata Nexon get projector headlamps with LED DRLs as standard. However, multifunctional LED DRLs along with the cornering front fog lamps are available only from the XZ variant onwards. Coming on towards the sides, these 16-inch dual-tone machine cut alloy wheels are standard from the XZ Plus variant onwards and these are the newly designed 16-inch alloy wheels updated last year. The side profile of the Nexon is very unique thanks to its coupe-inspired design. However, the white ceramic belt line may not be up to everyone's liking. That said, the silver-finished roof rails are available from the XM whereas the shark fin antenna is available from the XZ+. The rear fascia of the Nexon is very very unique with a rather bold and aggressive design language which may not be up to everyone's taste as well. While the white finished X-Factor design element may be polarizing opinions, these tri-arrow design LED split tail lamps are standard across all variants and they look really good at night. The XZ Plus variant onwards, the Nexon also gets a rear windshield wiper washer with defogger and both the front and rear bumpers also get the four silver finished skid plates. Then being the topmost premium variant of the Nexon, an electric sunroof is also on offer which is also available from the XMS variant onwards. So that was all about the exterior details of this XZA Plus Premium. Let's now get inside the cabin. Yes folks, I'm right now inside the brand new Tata Nexon XZ Plus P variant. This P is literally the top most flagship variant of the Tata Nexon lineup and this has got all the features you may have seen on the Kaziranga edition and a few more as well. So starting with the steering wheel, this steering wheel remains exactly the same. From the XZ Plus S variant onwards, you get this beautiful leather wrapping on this flat bottom steering wheel and you also get cruise control just like before uh, along with automatic headlamps and automatic wiper function as well. This instrument cluster also remains exactly the same from the XZ Plus S variant onwards you also get tire pressure monitoring system you can see over there. So this is a pretty nice feature to have. Then the center console may look exactly identical as before because this 7 inch touchscreen system is available from the XZ variant itself along with the reverse parking camera and you also get voice command functionality, what three words connectivity and uh, IDA connect connected car features as well. However, you can see that this touchscreen system now gets air purifier integrated into it along with the AC system as well. So this feature has been carried forward from the Kaziranga edition of the Nexon, which was the first variant of the Tata Nexon to provide this feature, just like the Tata Harrier. So this is pretty nice. Apart from that, the eight speaker Harman system remains exactly the same with fantastic audio quality and you can also literally control the car's uh, automatic climate control using the voice commands itself right from the XZ plus variant onwards so let me just try doing that currently you can see that the temperature is set at 20 degrees Celsius with the fan speed at 1 so let's try doing that I feel warm 
OK. Decreasing AC to 18.5. Yeah, so such uh, normal language can also be recognized by this uh, touchscreen system itself, this infotainment system. You additionally also get express cool function from the XZ plus S variant onwards, which is also good to have in such summer times. So this is pretty good again. And this is the XZ A plus uh, variant, which means you also get the six speed AMT gearbox. This is much more refined than before. So it is expected to provide much better driving experience now. Uh, that said, all variants of the Tata Nexon, irrespective of the AMT or manual, get these three multiple drive modes as standard, including city, economy and sport. So this is going to be great while driving. You can literally feel the differences between these drive modes while driving. Then. Once I remove my phone, you get to see this Tambo door mechanism, which is also standard from the XZ Plus variant onwards, along with this center armrest. So this is okay still. However, you can see the latest addition on this XZ Plus P variant of the Nexon. It is these leather seats. These Beniki Calico leather seats have been added from the Tata Nexon EV XZ Plus luxury variant. Yes, uh, this leather upholstery, this ivory white leather upholstery was first seen on the Tata Nexon's XZ Plus luxury variant alone. Now, this is available on the standard petrol and diesel P variants as well. Not only the leather upholstery, the Nexon also gets ventilation function for the front seats just like the Kaziranga edition. So, that is also worth noting. You can feel the cool air coming through from the backrest and the base of the front seats for which the button is located on the sides of the seats yes you can see the button over here there are literally three fan speed controls for this ventilation function for the front seats and the cooling is so good while driving especially in hot climates then complementing the tri row design pattern on these leather seats you can also see the same leather upholstery carried forward into the door armrests as well just like the tata nexon xz plus ev luxury edition and along with that you also get auto dimming irvm yes this is a brand new feature on the tata nexon's lineup this was also first seen on the kaziranga edition alone so you can literally see the button over here for the auto dimming no more manual adjustment for the xz plus p variant alone whereas other variants uh, except for the xe gets day night manual adjustment for the irvm apart from all these things the overall design layout and material remain exactly the same you get this standard ivory white with the tri -aero design pattern finish on the dashboard mid pad from the XZ variant onwards on the Tata Nexon and this humongous glove box is actually illuminated while also providing cooling function from the XZ variant itself so this is great again and the XZ plus S variant onwards you also can see this electric sunroof in fact this electric sunroof along with automatic headlamps and automatic wiper functions are also available on the XMS and XMAS variants of the Tata Nexon as well then other standard features available from the XM variant onwards include all four power windows along with auto folding ORVMs as well now let's quickly take a look at the rear seats Yes, folks, this is how the dashboard of the Tata Nexon XZ Plus P variant looks like from the back seat. At first glance, it definitely looks like the normal XZ Plus variant of the Nexon. However, the XZ Plus does not get cruise control and it does not get leather wrapping on the steering wheel while also not getting auto dimming IRVM and the electric sunroof. Now, talking about the rear seats, the Tata Nexon has always been one among the most comfortable and spacious compact SUVs in this category. Now, I have adjusted the driver's seat for my height, which is 5.11 for reference, but still, you can see the amount of legroom I have I am extremely comfortable to be precise because the design of these uh, bucket like rear seats it's so great that I literally get the maximum under thigh support from these back seats you can see the seats literally extending uh, to the back of my knee so I am so comfortable over here and from the XZ Plus variant onwards, the Tata Nexon also gets adjustable headrests for two passengers in the rear and it also gets this center armrest with two cup holders integrated into it. That said, unlike the XZ Plus, XZ Plus optional, XZ Plus S variants of the Nexon, this P variant alone gets this beautiful Beniki Calico leather upholstery with the tri aero design pattern integrated into it. And similarly, the door armrests also get the same uh, material with the perforation as well. All these additions 
definitely make the Tata Nexon XZ Plus P look even more premium than expected. Now, in order to integrate the ventilation function into the front seats, they have made some slight changes to the overall design and shape of the front seats. There is some kind of hard material at the seat back over here. And that is also the reason they have not added seat back pockets behind the front seat. Uh, that said, no issues regarding the legroom for the back seat passengers if you are under six foot in height and yes these ac vents are standard from the xz variant itself on the tata nexon range talking about safety features all variants of the tata nexon as standard come with dual airbags abs with ebd esp with traction control hill hold assist rollover mitigation brake assist brake disc wiping and isofix child seat mounts however even the topmost variant of the tata nexon does not get side curtain airbags the Tata Nexon is one among the compact SUVs which do not compromise on overall space, be it legroom, headroom or boot space. The Tata Nexon just like before offers 350 litres of luggage space, which is nice, square and very usable, along with multiple flexibility options such as bag hooks on either side of the boot area. And yes, there is also a yellow boot lamp on the left side. The XZ Plus variant onwards, the Nexon gets 215 section tyres with the alloy wheels, whereas the spare wheel is a 195 section 16 inch steel wheel. Still, this spare wheel can be used long term as well. Nowadays, all the Tata cars get the tyre mobility kit as standard, which is basically a puncture repair kit. For additional flexibility, the XZ Plus variant onwards, the Nexon also offers 60-40 split folding rear seats. However, it is a two-step process. First, the seat base has to be tumbled forward before folding flat the seat back. Doing this will liberate quite a lot of luggage space. And even with all that luggage, you can also carry an additional passenger in the rear. That said, you don't get a completely flat loading bay as that is a significant step, which means you have to slightly adjust with heavy luggage. Now let's close the tailgate of this Nexon and open the bonnet to take a look at the engine. The Tata Nexon comes with one petrol and one diesel engine option. This one here is the 1.2 litre 3 cylinder Revotron turbocharged petrol engine producing 120 PS of maximum power and 170 Newton meters of maximum torque through either a 6 speed manual or a 6 speed AMT gearbox. Along with more power, this turbo petrol engine has been updated with better refinement since the year 2020. However, instead of the AMT, Tata Motors should definitely provide the DCA automatic transmission for a properly premium driving experience with such a turbo petrol engine. All variants of the Nexon also get multiple drive modes. Now let's get into the drive experience. Yes friends, I am right now inside the brand new Tata Nexon XZ A plus P variant. So this is the turbo petrol AMT variant of the Tata Nexon. You may have already seen all the features over here. Now let's uh, judge the NVH by starting the car first. So turning off the aircon. I can hear only the external noise on the inside of this car. There is literally nothing. There is only that slight uh, vibration on the pedals but apart from that it is a very very refined cabin. The engine is extremely silent and the cabin is very very well isolated. Now let's start the drive by putting the car into A. I am not pressing the accelerator but still the car is moving pretty good. The creep function is pretty okay as the car automatically is moving at 7 km per hour speed. So this is the creep function. It also helps while driving on hills as well. So now let's start the acceleration. Turning on the AC. Yeah, the initial response is that this is... This feels like almost any other automatic. Well, I did not notice when the car shifted to second gear. So that is actually a pretty good thing because yeah, shifting from first to second, it always uh, regarding AMTs, it is always going to be a head nod kind of thing, but not in this. Now, okay, it already shifted to third gear. So in such moderate city traffic, while moving in city traffic up to third gear, uh, especially when you are driving patiently, if you are not in a hurry, the gearbox feels smooth. 
but yeah mind it this is not a dca and this is not a torque converter so once you want performance if you want performance if you put your foot down yeah it takes that slight half second to downshift uh, but apart from that in city mode yes i am currently driving in city mode in automatic mode itself and i don't feel like this is cumbersome at all it feels smooth keeping up with traffic at around 40 km per hour 30 to 40 km per hour is very easy in second gear and if you want the engine to be more relaxed you can get up to higher speeds say above 40 yeah now currently i am in third gear while up shifting uh, to third gear sometimes there is that uh, a three quarter second of lag you definitely feel the head nod while shifting you feel the gear changing but that is okay because if you get to fourth okay i did not know when the car shifted to fourth now it's already to third so it automatically judges uh, like when you want the power when is the power lagging off when is the power tailing off and when you want the power the engine uh, power band the gearbox always maintains the engine in its power band so that is actually pretty good now we are on a flyover and uh, well overtaking on a flyover that's not going to be easy i guess but keeping up with traffic is no problem at all so putting my foot down in second gear okay well that was not expected while i was overtaking in the midway itself the gearbox shifted from second to third that should not happen but this is city mode so it thinks that uh, you are driving relaxed you need only this much amount of power so that's why it does that and uh, yeah so amt's can be a bit <laughs> a bit weird you need to adjust uh, yourself to that but apart from that it feels comfortable the car itself feels so comfortable i have turned on the ventilation function and uh, in such say already cool climate the seats are so very chilling so this is an essential feature the tata nexon always needed so driving in city in a moderate traffic is no issue at all with this amt gear box the thing is that if you are driving a bit uh, say in tough sa traffic situations when you need that hurried performance immediate acceleration that is where it is lacking now currently i am i am driving on a rough road stretch but judging the ride quality of this nexon it has that slight hard edge a firm edge to the suspension because it needs that it is an suv and moreover it's a heavy suv so that is why this suspension is a bit slightly firm but it's comfortable on the inside now let's get on to the highway stretch where i could get to explore further of this turbo petrol engine and also i will show you how does the cruise control function yes friends uh, we are going to join the highway really soon and let's go on this uh, we have uh, currently say a winding stretch over here so here i would like to show you how does the nexon perform and how engaging is the nexon to drive this is a coupe like design for the nexon with a low well slightly low center of gravity despite the ground clearance the nexon has always been a pretty fun car to drive in the compact suv category and it also has uh, the firm solid suspension and chassis setup so it gives you the fun you need so for example i'm just slotting it into sports mode Drive mode yeah. Immediately, it downshifts to third, and it gives you all the power it has. <laughs> okay, within no time, I'm doing 80. Okay, so we are joining the highway now. All right. So this is the highway. Yeah. So accelerating on the highway now. All right. Well, it is obvious that the gear shifts from second to third, and from third to fourth, the shift is noticeable. I am currently driving in the sports mode. While the engine stock is obvious, uh, it takes its own time to shift. That is the obvious uh, one second uh, time it takes to upshift. 
yes so i have reached 100 so even at such speeds if you want to overtake no problem at all and if i want to overtake quickly i'll just put my foot down again from 6 it downshifts to 4th the downshifts are unexpectedly very fast it unexpectedly the downshifts are surprisingly quick but upshifts upshifts are what take that slight bit of time more time than downshifts well the sports mode works actually pretty well uh, the thing about this amt tuning from tata motors is that they have also tuned it with the gear shifts in mind so if you change the drive mode to sports mode it feels definitely more sportier to drive the engine response is more sporty and the gearbox response is also definitely more sportier such that every gear extracts uh, the maximum power that is available in each gear so now i am currently shifting it into economy drive city mode city drive mode activate so this is the medium mode better suited for traffic situations like this so as you can see this is heavy rush hour traffic on highways in Coimbatore. for such conditions i feel sports mode is best but anyway let's try the city mode hmm. Braking is okay, braking is solid and confident, no problem at all with that. Acceleration, yeah, the engine is, it is obvious that the engine has more power than the gearbox can actually put through the wheels, that is clearly obvious. Yeah, even on the highways, well, it's a moving traffic, so this is where this AMT feels, uh, well, it's comfortable, it's not particularly slick and smooth it is definitely not uh, very laggy and slow it is slightly in between it's uh, comfortable for its own zone so cruising in fourth in such moving traffic it is no problem at all it can do this all day but yeah you will get tired of it so if i want to overtake just putting my foot down will give a slight downshift and here we go yeah in city mode uh, so the reason for that slight delay and uh, early upshift is that i am currently driving in the city mode that is why it upshifted slightly earlier than i wanted it so if i was in the sports mode it would have delivered me a better experience Sport drive mode activated so friends we are currently driving on the polachi highway this is the highway that connects Coimbatore to polachi roughly around 45 kilometers yes so we are going to polachi now and we'll be handing over this Tata Nexon XZA Plus uh, in the morning tomorrow back to Coimbatore. So while driving during this night time, I can actually judge the high speed manners, the night driving capability and the headlamp uh, throw as well of this Nexon. As you can see, the headlamp throw is pretty decent. While uh, in the low beam, it is just about adequate because this is the factory fit 55 watt bulb only. You can obviously change it to 100 bar 90 but at the in the high beam it is actually pretty okay now i have uh, turned on the front fog lamps which means the visibility of these corners is pretty good actually and uh, these fog lamps are cornering fog lamps as well so even if you turn off the fog lamps while you turn the wheel you also get the fog lamps automatically turned on so that is actually pretty good uh, well then talking about highway manners yes the tata nexon has always been a great cruiser out on the highway so even if you get to higher speeds this is very very beautiful to drive it is so very capable uh, the only thing is that this amt at times it a bit it's a bit intrusive in the city mode and especially in the economy mode so i'll try to slot it into economy mode now economy drive mode activated yes so the economy mode means the tata nexon functions in the lowest power band that means uh, the power is very very limited this is best for high speed cruising for extracting best mileage and it is also noticeable that in the economy mode it upshifts very very uh, early and downshifts very very late as well uh, that is to make sure that you always are in the decent power band without compromising on mileage but if you want to overtake in the economy mode it is going to be definitely a kind of a hassle because it takes its own time so sort uh, it into fourth gear by just yeah even though it is in fourth gear it upshifts so early 
and the power progress is not that quick but for best response of both worlds that is obviously the city mode city drive mode activated Yes, so city mode, it is immediately evident that this has better torque and better mid-range power than the economy mode. This feels more drivable and better suited for such moderate uh, traffic situations. However, if you want to enjoy the most, that is obviously economy the sports mode. Drive mode activated. Sport drive so mode yes, activated. immediately you feel the mm, better downshifts and late upshifts in the say sports mode and that is the obvious boost of torque available full 170 newton meters of torque is available in this uh, sports mode so that is a big big advantage and even if you take such crazy speeds on highways on such curving highways and on such uh, say the flyover joints and all the next one feels unfazed it is so planted it is beautiful to drive. Mm -hmm. The steering feels so uh, much heavier. It is more confident. It is great to drive. And uh, in the, and in this sports mode, especially the AMT responds much better. So currently I'm doing 95, and even if I put my pedal down, it immediately shifts to fourth, and there is that progress. There is not much engine noise as well. In 4th gear, it does 120 before it upshifts to 5th uh, gear. <laughs> yeah, so in uh, the sports mode, you can properly enjoy this AMT. Even though this is an AMT, the sports mode is the best mode to enjoy the Nexon Petrol. So, yeah. <laughs> so yes, that was all about the highway drive experience of the Tata Nexon XZA plus P. Yeah, that's actually a very long name, but this is the flagship variant. Now let's, uh, yep, let's get back to the showroom in the morning. Careful with your pretty eyes and run with me, you're the Cause you and I and I are a secret. So friends, that was a detailed drive review of the brand new Tata Nexon XZA Plus P with the 1.2 litre turbocharged engine and the AMT gearbox. I feel that if you want a completely feature loaded, safe and super spacious compact SUV, the Tata Nexon XZA Plus Petrol definitely makes a compelling case for itself. And moreover, with the additional premium features, you definitely feel the premiumness in the cabin as well. So you can see the pricing for the Tata Nexon AMT range on the screen right now. Do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the Tata Nexon Petrol AMT range. Meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.